Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can create a welcome email on your MailChimp account. So first off, you'll have to go on the dashboard here. And you want to go on the automation sections on the left hand side here. On automation, you can click on overview here. And you'll see that there is a pre-made welcome new contacts uh, journey here that you can do. And what is journey? Basically, a journey is your workflow in your MailChimp uh, email, right? So let's try it. Let's try creating this welcome new contacts. And then in here, this is, you'll see, the overview of your journey. First off, the contact signs up to an audience and then send email to send uh, email, which is the welcome email, and then it exits, right? So let's try. Use, use this journey and then let's click on continue. <clears throat> now in here, uh, when you already have this kind of setup, uh, you can just click on this. Although you do need a, uh, a upgraded plan to actually make this happen. But once you subscribe to either the essential, the standard or the premium, uh, you could already activate it, but I'm going to show you the setup here. So first off, a contact will sign up to this and then it'll create that email and then it'll send it and then it'll exit, right? If you want to modify any of these, you can click on this to add a journey point. And then there's a couple of rules here, like if else, percentage split, uh, wait for trigger, a time delay. Uh, you can also do a send SMS, a webhook. You can also send a survey. A survey. Uh, you can tag or untag, you can update contact, and you can also use a meta custom audience, right? So for example, here we want to add in a if else statement here. And there's a couple of segment builder here you can do. So for example, address here. If the address contains uh, somewhere, like if the address contains USA, for example, we're going to use this segment. The condition here right now, uh, address contains USA, right? So if, if the address contains USA, so if they live in the USA, it'll create an email and then the contact contacts will exit, right? But if the address don't contain USA, which is no, then it'll uh, not send a welcome email, right? And these are some of the way that you could customize this welcome email. Uh, I'm just going to delete this, delete. There's a lot more conditions you can add here on the journey, like a percentage split or a wait for trigger or maybe a time delay. So maybe after the user sign up, it'll wait uh, a couple of minutes or a couple of hours before creating a welcome email so the user don't feel overwhelmed. You can also make it so that besides sending a welcome email, it'll also send an SMS or there's a webhook or you can also immediately send a survey in their email to know what the process of your business uh, feels like to them so far. There's a lot you can customize here and I uh, encourage you to explore and try it out.